ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மோட்டிவேஷன் சுக்ரீவா ஹேஸ் ப்ராமிஸ் டு லக்ஷ்மன் தேட் ஹீ இஸ் கோயிங் டு பிரிங் என்டையர் வானர் ஆர்மி அட் த ஃபீட் ஆஃப் ராமா வித்இன் டென் டேஸ் பை லிசனிங் டு திஸ் ப்ராமிஸ் லக்ஷ்மன் ஹாப்பிலி வென்ட் பேக் டு த மவுண்டன் வேர் ராம் இஸ் ரிசைடிங் நவ் Sugriva has sent people to the four corners of the globe calling for the meeting. He sent a message to every warner that he has to attend Kishkindha Palace within 10 days for a very important meeting. If anyone doesn't attend for the meeting, that particular warner is going to be sent for death sentence. So, within 10 days, all over the globe, the entire Warner army, that is monkey army, has been present at the palace of Kishkindha. In the meeting, it has been written in Sanskrit Ramayan by Valmiki that approximately 200,000 million warners have been present approximately 200 billion billion monkeys have present 200 billion billion which is nothing but 200000 millions of monkeys have been present in the meeting at kishkindha palace sugriva so, has explained to all the warners army that we have to support Ram's duty in searching for the whereabouts of Sita in giving the information about where Ravan is hiding Sita. At any cost we have to pass this information to Ram without fail within 30 days. He has given a deadline also. Now Sugriva has started with his 200,000 million monkey army walking towards the mountain where Ram is residing. Ram has been waiting from past 10 days for Sugriva's army. Suddenly, Ram started hearing to the sounds of monkey army. Imagine 200,000 million monkeys as a group making sound and walking towards the mountain. In Ramayan, it has been written like the sounds of the monkeys are equal to hundreds of hailstorms falling at the same place. Imagine the noise that has been made by monkeys while walking to the mountain. And not only that, my friends, 200,000 million monkeys have reached to the mountain where Ram is residing. Because of their footsteps, the dust started floating in the air in such a way that because of the dust, even the clouds have been blotted out. The rays of the sun are not touching to the ground because of the dust that has been formed by walking 200,000 million monkeys. The clouds have been formed with the dust in such a way that the rays of the sun have been blocked completely to the earth. That was the power that has been created. And not only that, my friends, when those many Warner soldiers are walking, the earth is shaking like an earthquake. It has been written in Sanskrit Ramayana clearly these symptoms. Now, Sugriva has reached to Ram along with his 200,000 million Warner army. Immediately when Sugriva reached to Ram, he fell on the feet of Ram and asked for excuse for getting delay in bringing his army. Immediately Ram has excused Sugriva and Ram has given a tight hug to Sugriva out of happiness. Ram felt very happy after seeing this army. Ram got confidence that Yes, Warner army is huge and they are going to bring the whereabouts of Sita where 
Ravan is hiding. Now, Sugriva started explaining the strategy that he is going to implement in searching for Sita. Sugriva said he is going to divide the army into four groups so that one group will go to the east part of the globe and they will search for every corner in the east side. Another group will go to west side. Another group will go to north side. And the fourth group, a main group, which will go to the southern part of the globe, the south part of the globe. You may wonder why the main group has been sent only to southern part. Because Sugriva is very smart. He saw the flying saucer of Ravan flying to the south part of the globe. By observing that, he decided to send main people of Hanuma, Jambavanta to the south part of the globe so that he is confident that Ravan is hiding Sita in southern part. So, Sugriva started giving instructions to each group. The first group, he started giving instructions to go to east side of the globe. He was telling which are the kingdoms that he will be seeing or the group will be seeing when they go to east side of the globe. He mentioned about Ganga river, Yamuna river, Saraswati river and he mentioned about the particular cities or the particular kingdoms that they are going to face when they go to east side and they have been instructed clearly where is the possibility of hiding Sita even on the east side. Sugriva has given clear route map to the group which is going to east side. Where is the possibility that they can focus more and where is the possibility that they can miss. He has given a route map clearly and he has sent the group towards the east side. Now the second group. Sugriva is sending towards the west side. Sugriva clearly mentioned to the group what are the kingdoms that they are going to see in the west side and what are the uh, islands that they, are, they have to search in the middle of the ocean where they have to be very careful. He has directed them and sent the west side group also. Now the third group to the north side. Even to the third group Sugriva so has given clear instructions what are the kingdoms they, they see. He clearly said you will find Indraprastham means the present Delhi. He has mentioned even the Indraprastham in Ramayana. It means the current Delhi is existing even during Ramayana times. Please understand my friends. And after Indraprastham he clearly said Himalayas. Himalayas is the place where Yogis, Rishis, Munis will be staying. Do not disturb them, but take their guidance. After crossing the Himalayas, after 100 Yojanam distance, means 800 miles of distance after Himalayas, Sugriva clearly told to the group that there will be a big desert, huge desert. He has asked them to cross the desert and he clearly told what are the islands that they have to search after the desert. My friends, if you understand, this huge desert is nothing but Sahara Desert. The globe's largest desert, they have mentioned even during Ramayan time. Please understand. And after sending the north side group, now Sugriva started instructing to the group which is going to the southern part of the globe. This group contains Hanuma, the minister of Kishkindha, Hanuma, Jambavanta, very elder person. Group which is going to the southern part of the globe is being headed by son of Wali called Angada. So under the leadership of Angada, under the guidance of two ministers, Hanuma and Jambavanta, a group has been instructed to move to southern part of the globe. Hanuma has been personally called by Sugriva and Sugriva clearly requested Hanuma that 
you are the only one person who can bring the whereabouts of sita so be careful when you go to the southern part of the globe you will find rivers like godavari krishnaveni etc and those rivers are filled with highly venomous snakes and crocodiles so be careful with the army when you are crossing the rivers you will find big snakes and crocodiles be careful and he told that after crossing these rivers you will find the places called andhra kingdom kerala kingdom pandya kingdom presently andhra kingdom means andhra pradesh and telangana pandya kingdom means tamil nadu kerala means the southern bottom place of india kerala and sugriva clearly told to the group that after reaching to the kerala division there will be the end of the earth and the ocean will start from the place where ocean begins if you travel 100 yojana distance which is 800 miles distance if you flew you will find an island that island is under the control of ravan so griva clearly indicated that this is the place of ravan this is the part of the globe which is under the supervision of ravan that particular island search inch by inch don't leave an even a single inch of the place to search in the particular island because that island belongs to ravan so griva clearly instructed hanuma and finally first time in ramayan ram also called hanuma my friends first time in ramayan ram started speaking to hanuma ram has called to hanuma he has removed his finger ring which contains the raja mudrika the identity of ayodhya prince shri ram this identity of ring has been given to the hand of hanuma by ram himself and ram has requested to hanuma that if anyone approach sita she don't even reply to them she don't even communicate to other men because she belongs to the ayodhya kings dynasty unless until you show this particular identity of the prince of ayodhya she don't even communicate to you so after you showing this ring only she will open her mouth she will talk to you openly till then she will not even speak to you so carry this raja mudrika king's identity first time ram has spoken to hanuma in ramayan hanuma took the ring he fell on the feet of rama and this particular ring he kept it on the top of the head he tied it with his lengthy hair on top of sahasra chakra on top of the head he took it as god the god's identity that is the reason he kept it on the top of the head he tied it with his hair lengthy hair and they started moving towards southern part of the globe what happened next we will understand in the upcoming episode thank you namaste